Hi, right, welcome to Cooking with Papa P and Chef Dom. Today we're going to be making an Italian cheesecake. This recipe I got from my Aunt Carol in New York. She gave it to me about 10, 15 years ago. It's a really good recipe for Italian cheesecake. Uh, it's made with ricotta cheese instead of cream cheese. So we're going to get started here. All right, let's do it. Okay, we have all of our ingredients here to make our Italian cheesecake. Uh, we have two pounds of whole milk ricotta cheese, uh, vanilla, uh, some lemon zest, half a dozen eggs, uh, half a cup of heavy cream, one cup of sugar, and a third cup of flour. We're going to mix everything together, and when you put the eggs in, you should put in like one at a time while it's mixing. Okay, what I did, what I'm doing right now is uh, rubbing uh, unsalted butter all over the inside of the spring pan and uh, the sides too and then uh, I'm gonna put some a couple of tablespoons of flour in there this is so it doesn't stick and then we're just gonna shake it up shake it up move it around there you go oven's ready. We preheated it to uh, 325 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, now we're going to take the excess out. Just put it back in the cup. Let me see that pan. See how it looks. Ah, nice. There you go. And that's it. Okay, we're going to put our ricotta in first. Well, two pounds of it. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of heavy cream in there. Uh, also, we're going to sift the, the sugar and the flour. Now what does that do? It makes it uh, it's finer? Just and finer and fluffy. fluffs it up a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay, here we have our sugar. This is a, a third cup oh, of a flour. A flour. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put this on there now. Close that. Lock it. And start mixing. I'm going to put about, I don't know, maybe like 10 drops of uh, vanilla in there. Put our lemon zest in there. What is it, about a teaspoon? Yeah, about a teaspoon of lemon zest. Also, too, I am going to put a little lemon, fresh lemon in there also. And also, I'm going to put a pinch of salt in there. Okay, I'm going to put the eggs in uh, one at a time, and it's a half a dozen eggs. I feel like I'm on an airplane getting ready to take off.
let that mix really good. I'm just gonna put a couple of drops of lemon in there. Looking good already. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Probably eat that raw. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it though. It's got eggs in it. Eggs in it. Raw eggs. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the oven. Uh, at 325 and I usually take it out when it's cooked uh, when it's really nice and golden brown on top so we're gonna start off maybe with an hour or less sounds, go. sounds good to me first you want to put it on a pan first so it doesn't yes. leak put it in the pan so It'll catch anything if it leaks through the spring pan. Excellent. Which it shouldn't. But and, and you put it on in on the in the middle of the, the stove. And that's it. Okay, cheesecake is ready. That's perfect. You want to get it nice and brown on top. Not too much, but oh, it smells ridiculous. And then you want to let it uh sit for about 30 minutes and then you want to you have to serve it cold i would suggest in the refrigerator for two or three between two and three hours sounds good because if you cut it when it's warm it'll just fall apart yeah okay cheesecake is ready it was resting in the refrigerator for about an hour it's nice and cool and now chef dom is going to put some powdered sugar on it okay we're going to put a little uh, powdered sugar on our cheesecake and then we're gonna we're gonna cut it up and try it beautiful wow and that's it cut it up huh cut it up all right we're gonna cut this baby up now You want to cut it just like you would a, a pizza, pizza pie. Whoa, that looks good. Here's my plate. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to take a bite of that. <clears throat> oh, delicious. And Carol would be proud. Very good. Well, that was our cheesecake recipe, Italian cheesecake uh, by Chef Dominic. It was absolutely awesome. Thank creamy, you. Uh, sweet. Very, very nice. I think you'll enjoy it. Well, thanks for watching. Happy eating. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye.